So um, what uh, was the aim of my presentation was uh, to try to connect what uh, I think it's the major relation between digital uh, culture or what I term digital mode of production uh, and uh, financial capitalism. Why? Because we are in what is called financial capitalism. This process of financialization uh, is uh, really connected with calculation, uh, with uh, uh, calculation also as biopolitics that means administering life, uh, uh, having uh, um, uh, to frame uh, um, the, um, uh, the way of, um, uh, so to call, uh, how people live, reproduce and produce on one side and uh, I uh, try to think about this digital mode of uh, uh, production as uh, something that is not just an aesthetical pattern but uh, actually a social programming coming near precisely to this or if uh, as I term uh, both uh, uh, financial capitalism and uh, the digital mode of production are working hand in hand. They are uh, owning each other other um, in terms that they are not just mirroring, but they are working each other for each other. And uh, uh, for me, it was important uh, to understand that uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, process is not just a process uh, about aesthetics or about representation, but is a process that actually in, uh, in, uh, it's connected with um, a new division of labor that is dividing first and second and third world. That means it's actually hiding uh, these processes of exploitation, expropriation um, that are uh, at the base of the pharma of globalization but it's not global, it's only the way how capital uh, transcends, but what is local is actually uh, the processes of exploitation and through digital culture they are actually uh, hidden and uh, they are not uh, uh, made as such uh, because it's, uh, this digitalization is connected with the cultural industry and the whole process of branding, the whole process of uh, so to call um, uh, 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 transforming social relations into just an aesthetical mode, hype, trend, and brand. Um, in the discussion, in the end, you were putting an emphasis on the relevance of critical voices in artistic practice. I think you call it a slap on the face. A slap on the face <laughs> to wake up. Uh, uh, this was uh, why I said, because uh, uh, these uh, pr processes of digitalization, uh, this uh, being slaves of so this whole process of branding, uh, that is really very much connected with the computer. Uh, with uh, the whole uh, the whole perception of culture that was transformed through computer technology, practically uh, uh, in one way uh, it's uh, not giving the possibility to think about uh, it's not giving the possibility to think about uh, what actually means you know w w about we, what kind of life we are talking uh, because uh, uh, in the first uh, capitalist world is a certain idea of uh, being a brand and uh, having a possibility to have a good life, any kind, you, you, have, you can choose. But actually outside of this first capitalist world, you have actually uh, a process uh, that is called necropolitics, that means uh, uh, ho whole territories uh, uh, to the division of labor, whole so-to-call uh, people are made uh, not only uh, to live in misery, but actually death death, like uh, um, in terms of uh, not having to eat uh, misery, it's the major regulate, regulator. So I, I, my point was that uh, because of this discrepancy, in, in one way, in first capitalist world, is no any kind of thinking about these other processes. So it's the time in one to, to, uh, to start uh, if it's not too late. Because this process is to be brand means also branding any kind of resistance. The resistance is just a kind of a hype, it's just a, so to call a process of uh, declaration, but it has no really context to really try to, to understand what's going on and to change something. So I said maybe it's uh, uh, necessary to give a slap in order to, to at least uh, um, awake and to, to try to connect this situation, because everything is connected, but is seen or uh, obsolete or is seen that uh, uh, it's uh, an equal regime for the whole world. Then this is what is done with globality. Mm -hmm. okay.
Okay, and that would also be the role of the artist, I assume. That the artist it will be the role of the artist, but the artists are uh, uh, in one way um, uh, too less. It will be the role of the subjects, and especially of the political subjects. And they, these are uh, actually, um, uh, uh, day by day, you have less political subjects. That means you have less, by, uh, less uh, day by day, people who are uh, not just brands, but are capable to think about technology, about the life as a social relation, but also as a relation that actually is not out of the capitalist mode. That means it's not just uh, some kind of a pose, but is part of the whole process of exploitation. So, it's time really to, to, to do something if it's not too late.